Although there was good news today, the, the one uh, disturbing um, <clears throat> news statistic, we have our first um, child that's, that's coming with these symptoms that we, we heard about from New York. We do. Can you describe it? So, so this 10-month-old uh, um, came down with COVID mm -hmm. and then... So what the information we received in the port, uh, report was that the, the child had the antibodies for COVID-19, which means that he or she had had COVID-19 in the past. And now they are experiencing systemic issues. So whole body wide issues. Um, and you know, obviously that's scary for anyone at any age, but when you're that young, um, you can't you can't be explained as to what's happening. You don't understand why you're, you know, being stuck with needles and, you know, why you why you can't be with mom or dad. And it's it's a very scary thing. Um, but, you know, as we talked about yesterday, this disease is not just for the elderly, not just for the immunocompromised. And as we were talking earlier, this little one, you know, wasn't out, you know, doing the things that we are telling everyone to do to stay, you know, socially distanced from each other. This little one had, had no choice in, in what, diagnosis they received. So that's why it's always important not only to think of yourself when you're out in the public, but to think of others around you.